Hey, Minnie, Sam back once again. And I've got something a little bit different for you today. This is something for the car. What are you thinking? This? It's a smiley face. This, my friend, is what's called Moji Pick. Hmm. So if you want to check it out, I will put this here. You can also go to their website, which is just mojipick.co. And that, that actually gets the app if you go to this one here, which we're going to do today. And it's a wireless emoji display. Sounds pretty cool, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to open it up. Just take this off there. Pretty dooty though, right? I do, I, do, I do like emojis. I'm a big, massive emoji fan. So I believe, there we go. Just open it up. Now I've had this for quite a while, so I do apologise. I should have done this video quite a while ago. And here it is. So it is a wireless emoji display. So this actually goes in the back of your car. Yeah. Now I didn't have a car for nearly two months. So I couldn't really use it or test it or do anything with it. Got a car now, so I'm going to hook it up and we'll see what it's like, shall we? We're going to test it in today's video though first. So, let's take it out. Look at that. So I think this is the, yeah, this is the actual LED panel. Take that off to the side. And then, so I also get inside this box. Probably going to get some charging cable, I should imagine. Nothing in that side. And on this side... Oh yeah, look at that. It's a fairly substantial uh, plug. So let's just take this off to the side as well. And let's pull it in. So it is a 12 volt, I believe it's called. We call it a cigarette lighter normally where I'm from. So stick that into your cigarette lighter. And that's a nice little touch. Nice little uh, logo on there. And then this end will be going into Obviously, the back of the actual uh, unit itself. So let me just see if I can set it up. Let's see if it's got any power or if it needs to be completely plugged in all the time. Be two seconds. All right, so welcome back. It's actually a lot, a lot easier than I expected to actually set up. So let's just uh, get into my phone. You want to go across, download the Moji Pick app. See it just about there. So you want to load it up. Go to this section here, which is the far left, and it's the devices. And as you can see, nothing's connected. Now, what I was surprised about is there's no real pairing process. You turn it on and it shows up here and you tap it. Now, mine will automatically connect now because I've already connected it. So I'm just going to turn it on. Watch this screen there. You see it? Look how quick that was. So I might just have to turn my things down a little bit, my lights, so you can actually see the display on here. So all you need to do is tap into it. And you can change the brightness. You can change the screen mode. For example, constant slideshow timed. You can do the brightness up. Jeez, that's bright. I can have it down. Let's have it about there, shall we? Or you can clear the device. And then go back into it. Go to the middle section. You can go to this one. Actually, no, yeah, this one. Sorry, go to the gallery. My bad. And in the gallery, you can actually choose different options. So an example, you can go to attention. And let's say you're driving along. This goes in the back of your car. You're driving along. You need some help. Tap on help. Click uh, that button there, boom. It says help on the back of your car. So you can imagine if you're driving along and all of a sudden you need a bit of help because your brakes don't work. Boom, say help. How cool is that? Now, that's more obviously kind of a security thing. Didn't really get it for that, do we? We get it for the cool stuff. So let's have a look at some of the cool stuff, shall we? Now you can put your, your favourite football team, your NFL team, NBA, your gaming, etc. Now what, what I've done, to get to my football, is I've put the Manchester United one on here. So you probably saw it there. Boom, Manchester United, so tap it, click the little eye button, jump straight across to it. Now it does take a second or two, well, probably about 20 seconds, to download it to the device for the first time. Once it's on here, it's instant. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's say we want to go to, I don't know, what shall we go to? Should we do an NBA team? We'll do the Bulls because I know who the Bulls are. So basically you tap on that, click on the little eye. You see that's uploading on this, on this screen here. So once that's finished uploading, it'll be instantly on here and you can switch back and forth between them, which I'll show you now. So let's give it a second or two. One bam, thank you, ma'am. That's now in the back of your car. But now if you want to go back to the other one, tap on the middle one. In here, it's got the ones that are already uploaded. So you can see, right, I want to go to my UK flag. 
one I got to help, one I got to my Twitch. Boom. Look, these are the ones I've already tapped on before and they've already been uploaded. So again, what you're United, what you're United, what the Bulls. So once they're on there, super fast. To get them on there, a little bit slower, but hey, it's got to upload it, I suppose. It's not that bad. So let's have a quick look through here. Look at all the different options you've got as well. You've got 3D ones, you've got some emo Apple emojis, attention, you've got baseball brands. What brands have we got? So if you're an Apple fan, um, if you're a Lamborghini, if you're a McDonald's fan, <laughs> I don't know why you'd put that in there. That's the same silly. Cartoons and comics. Hey, look at this. You have Superman riding around with you. The Avengers, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Batman, Cartman. How cool is this, man? I don't admit, this is the what I would buy it for. This in the back of your car, and when you want to have something cool in the back of your car, let's say you're going to a, a United game, put the United logo. Let's say you're going to a wrestling match, put the WWE logo. And let's say you're going shopping, put the Asda Bloody logo. I don't know, put whatever you want in there. Once it's all loaded on, again, it is super quick to switch around to them. Just got to wait for them to upload. Now, I've noticed that the ones, the moving ones, take about two or three minutes. So do be patient on those ones. But the ones that don't move, take around 20 to 30 seconds or so. It's pretty cool though, right? I like that one. United Kingdom flag. Yes. Happy days. Huh? Now, you can do other things as well. So as you can see here, you do have voice control. You can have a ticker. So you can actually say to it, like you want it to say something in the back of your car. As an example, let's say we want a ticker. Um, and let's say we want it to say subscribe. Oh. It's free. Run Forest Run. And it should. Look at that. How cool is that? So you can put anything you would like on the back of your car like that. I think that's pretty damn cool. I like that. It's a very, very cool feature. You can generate a QR code. So if you tap on there, you could do one for your WhatsApp. Oh, that's pretty cool. Or your Telegram, etc. So if you're out and about and you want someone to follow you on Instagram or Twitter, you could put username in there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to try it now. So my username is at Sam J. Pullen. Okay, generate. That or should now go on here, I should imagine. We're going to click save. So my Twitter save. Now if I think, how do I stick it on there? Let me see if I can find stick it on there now. All right, so I said to save it as a favorite. Now when I tap on it and click view it on there, it's now going to upload it, as you can see there. So it's just up, up like uploading any of the other ones. And what it'll do is actually put my Twitter as a QR code in the back of my car. So if anyone's going around, they go, what's that QR code? Boom. There's my Twitter QR code. I like that. Come on. I'll tell you what, let's rang those lights down. There you go. If you want to follow me on Twitter, there it is. Hopefully it works. Huh? Yeah, I like that. That's pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Again, there are so many features for this device. So again, we've got, just to really quickly, we've got my account, we've got paint, so you can just basically paint on it. You can create a moving one, so you can create a GIF, or GIF as some people might say. You can play um, Tetris on it. Look at that, yes, you can play Tetris on there. That's pretty damn cool. Let's go out of there. Uh, my drawings, obviously the ones you've already done, and the settings of the actual device itself. So what I'll do now is I will put up a couple of more pictures, probably a video as well, of this in the back of my car. So you can actually just get a, you know, kind of a feel of what it will look like in the back of your vehicle. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a couple of uh, video loops. So I've got the UK flag. Uh, just to make you aware, obviously, while I'm showing you some of these ones in real time there, uh, be careful leaving the device in your car overnight because it can lose its charge. It's not designed to be kept in the vehicle 24-7, apparently. So just be wary of that one. You might want to take it out of the car when you're not using it. So it is your choice. As you can see there, United badge. Come on, United. We've then got Chicago Bulls because I figured show something a little bit different. I'm not personally a fan myself. I like the logo, so I figured why not. We've then got like Twitch. So as you can see here, here's the moving one, which is the Twitch logo. Uh, we've got a little shocked face. That's just a normal emoji. You can put any of these type ones in there. And last but not least, there's my Twitter follow. So again, see how it looks. Looks pretty good. What do you reckon?
And there we have it, everybody. What do you reckon? I think it's pretty cool. This is the one I thought might be really cool as well for people who've just got a newborn baby. Or I just want to say, you know, I've got a kind of child on board. Basically telling people around you, you know, look, I'm, I'm not driving like a maniac. I've got my kid in the back. Just chill, man. Just chill. I think this is a very cool security feature. But I think some of the other things, are such as doing the QR, I think they're the cool features. But these ones, obviously, in regards to baby on board, etc. Probably a little bit safer. Yeah, I like them. That's it, people. If you have any questions with regards to this or anything else, you know what to do by now. Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullen. I'm on you Facebook, Instagram, you name it, all at Sam J. Pullen. Go on, smash the like button, you know you want to, and subscribe. It's completely free. <laughs> anyway, people, once again, thank you for watching, and you'll see me. Well, you won't see me, but you'll see these puppies, and you'll hear this voice in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.